Hi there and welcome back to the video course. In this video we're going to create our first polymorphic one-to-many relationship. We're actually going to create a task which can be applied to a person or a business. So let's dive into it and see how it's done. Okay, so I did a few things here um, to, yeah, to prepare this video. I've created a new get route for business and for a person that actually is going to show the details of that uh, person or business. I've also created, uh, where is it, in the uh, resources views, uh, a detail page for person and a detail page for the business and in the controller um, of business and the person I created, uh, yeah, the function, well, it's all, it was already there, but I filled it in to grab the view, business detail and bind the uh, business to it. All right, so now we're having, if I refresh here, uh, we can actually click the name. If I click it, I get a detail page and in here we're going to create the tasks. The same thing for businesses. <clears throat> Whoops, why isn't, okay. Um, business, business name, if I click it, I get the company details and I get the tasks which is empty at this moment. So first of all, we're going to create our, our new model called task. So PHP artisan make model task. And we're also going to create a migration with, with it. So um, artisan, I made a typo there. Artisan, there we go. So this creates a model for us and also a, a migration that goes along with that. So in the task, we now have our soft deletes at ready, um, yeah, thanks to our stubs. And in the uh, database migrations, we have our new created migration. Okay, so in here, we're going to actually create our database for our tasks. And also, we're going to add um, the tables that we need to make it polymorphic. So we're actually going to create yeah, the things that we need, like a title, a description, and a status of the task. And then we're going to create a taskable ID, actually for the ID of the business or the person that the task is, is bound to, and a taskable type to know if it's um, yeah, a task for a person or a business. So let's add those. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to add the title, so table. Uh, and that's the string that I'm going to use for the title. There we go. And I'm going to use uh, a text for the description like that. And this may be notable for me like that. And we're going to set a new integer. So a table, integer, and this is going to be the task Double ID. And to know which type it is, we're going to use a string, a string called task, task, double type. So in here, we're going to yeah, actually expect uh, something like app models business or app models, whoops, and it's a capital M, um, person. That's going to go in, in here, actually, in the database itself. So yeah, let's actually run those migrations. So PHP artisan migrate like that. And this will create in our database, let me uh, refresh this here, a new table called task and in here we have the things that we created so to test this out i'm going to yeah test task this is search i need insert there we go test task um this is a fake description like that and well i forgot something but i'm going to add it later um, taskable ID. Well, I'm going to add it to business with ID three, and this will be app models business. All right. So 
if I create this, let me just, whoops. Yeah, I created this now and updated this now as well. Go. All right, so this created a new record for us, but this isn't going to work, right? Because we don't have any definitions in our model itself. So our task, well, in here, we should start off with use and it's actually just like the model. I'm just going to copy it for, yeah. Uh, eloquent relation, relations, backslash, and this is polymorphic, so it's morph two. We're going to use the morph two functionality here. So we have public function, and well, it's actually taskable, so task -able. And whoops, open the curly braces here like that. And in here, I'm going to return, return this. And this is morph two. And actually, yeah, Laravel will take care of all the rest for us here. Well, now let's head over to the business model here. And in here, I want the public function, function tasks because yeah we can have multiple tasks and open the curly braces again and in here i want to return this morph to no sorry it's morph many because we can have many of them and it's a task class and we're going to actually use the the name taskable because we named our column prefixed taskable underscore id and taskable um, underscore type so taskable like that and because taskable is related to yeah the taskable function in the task Laravel will take care of everything for you so let's actually copy this here and put this also in the person model all right so this should work already so let's test this out so we're going to go to the businesses and with id3 i think this is turtle harvey and jacoby and in here let me just check is this id3 yeah show all right it's still empty right so let's head over to the view so business detail and in here i want a for each so uh, add for each and for each business tasks I want it to be task and let's actually just echo out the task right now so task and it should have um, a title like that refresh all right so I have my test task here great so this actually means it found the test task that's actually in my database for this company so let me just quickly um, yeah, add a paragraph here uh, for the description like that. And let's add also a paragraph because it's, yeah, you, it's actually just to showcase that I can loop through them, right? And um, well, I will add H4 here. That might be nicer class and I want it to be uh, semi bold bold whoops why isn't that uh, oh because it's font semi bold sorry about that okay so test tasks this is a fake description and actually I want I want also um, a status here so let's add a migration um, PHP artisan make migration and I want add status to task like that. Let's head over to the code again. And in here, I should have a new migration. All right, and well, it's actually tasks and I want table, whoops, table. Um, it's an enum that I want, enum uh, called status and an array here of open and completed and I want a default 
default of open like that and I want it after uh, description after oops like that warp PHP art oops well actually uh, PHP art to migrate all right so let's head over here refresh this now I have a status of open so I can add the status as well okay great let's do that uh, in the detail here status status equals to like that refresh status is open I'm not going to go into detail for yeah anything here um, related to um, visualization or, or styling um, but I can use this to have yeah many tasks in, in yeah in as well the person or the database so to showcase that I'm also going to actually copy this task 2 and I want it to be a fake description as well but I want it to be for the model with ID 2 of the person like that if I hit go now I should have a test task and a test task 2 but the one uh, the first one is to a business and the second one is to a person so let's head over first but first let's actually copy this here and also put this to the person there we go um, and it's not a business it's a person like that all right refresh this isn't changing anything but just to show that it's not some kind of fake thing if I select another company I don't have any tasks if I go to people I said with ID 2 this should be this one and I have test task number two this is a fake description all right so that's actually how you can use um, a one-to-many polymorphic relationship um, well I want actually to be able to change that status uh, later on uh, but this is something for a future video um, in the next video we're going to use also a polymorphic relationship but a many-to-many -many relationship so I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye